Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Leo. And so if you like this reading, then please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private reading specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So let's take a look, Leo, at the week ahead. Calling in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy for Leo. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. These are the energies around you, Leo, for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Regret. It says, I know that I cannot change the past. You know, Leo, I'm really seeing that you're closing the door on the old, closing the door on a relationship, a person, a situation, um, perhaps closing the door on regret. I'm seeing that you're shutting the door to someone or something in your life. And I feel that you're not going to have any regrets about this. You know, if you have been regretting actions in the past or decisions made in the past, you're moving on from this. You know, you're opening a new door for yourself. It's hello to the new you. It is a new you that is dawning. There's a there's a wonderful horizon coming toward you. It's very bright. It's very positive. So letting go of the negativity. Acknowledging the pain, the past and things is certainly fine, but letting go of any regret that you, because you can't change the past is important. And I am seeing that you're letting go of something here or someone and you're moving into a new positive you. So the new you is just on the horizon. That's what I'm being told. So this is very, very exciting. Let's take a look at your next message. The messenger of action it says something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. So something new is definitely on the horizon now because you're letting go of the old, you're letting go of any negative emotions or emotions that no longer serve you. So exciting things are on the horizon for you and maybe in career and maybe in relationships or another area of your life, but things are definitely looking up. Things um, that may have Things or a person that may not have caught your attention in the past are definitely catching your attention now. And this card goes on to say you feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. OK, so just do it anyway. If you're feeling a lack of confidence or insecure in any kind of way, um, embrace this new adventure. Do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. So there's a newness that's coming in. If there's a new you, there's a new um, focus, intention, peace, harmony and balance that I'm seeing come into your life here. So overall, this is a really positive message and energy for you, Leo. Let's take a look at this next message. Archangel of strength, support, action, protection and opportunity are on the horizon for you. Archangel Michael offers you support and gives you courage. So giving you courage and support through any sort of emotion that may not be serving you well, knowing that the past cannot be changed, you can only focus on the present and that is so, so powerful. And so bringing yourself into the moment is very important this week as well to help open up new opportunities for you. You do have support around you. Also, you may be lending a hand or supporting another action and protection. So in this action, because with this card here, spirit is saying that um, it's ready to um, there's you're ready to take the next step. You're ready to, to take the leap. Do it anyway. That type of energy you're protected in the action that you take. So spirit really wants you to know that you have a wonderful passion that is burning here. 
in the, in the depths of your soul for a relationship, a person, maybe a life's purpose that is around you currently or coming in. You're going to feel that wonderful passion. I'm seeing a lot of creativity and passion and purpose here moving forward in your life. Let's take a look here at this card. Change your focus. Yes, changing your focus from regret, from guilt, from disappointment, loss, um, from these vibrational energies, changing your focus toward what action you can take this week, focusing, refocusing on this new you, this new action that you can take is going to be the best thing to do this week, given the circumstances that you're in. So changing your focus is really important for the week ahead. And looking forward into your future. Let's take a look here. Where you are currently, we have the high priestess. There could be a choice, a change, a decision being made here by you or by another that affects you. There is an energy here of the high priestess, of course, being a very deep intuitive knowledge that's coming out to the forefront. You're going to have the inner knowing of what to do, what action to take, what to say, getting clarity because you are perhaps changing your focus toward uh, more of more of your intuitive side. Okay, so you're changing your focus perhaps from the outer world into the inner world and seeing what's happening there within you, within your being. And because of this, because you do this, there's a there's a strength that comes out and an inner knowing um, and you're going to follow the right path because of this, because of the knowledge that you gain. Judgment is around you as well. So someone could be judging you, you're judging another personal situation. It may be necessary given the circumstances. Judgment means that a big change is coming or has come to pass. It's not going to be the same anymore. Things are certain, definite to change and to move forward. It's an awakening in a lot of ways here. So as you awaken, you are protected. As you move forward, you are protected. Let's take a look at this card here. We have the Queen of Swords energy. So there may be an air sign around you or significant in some way in your life. Queen of Swords, this energy for you indicates you're getting clearer perspective of things. You're not holding back. You're moving forward with confidence and with uh, a surety about you. Um, very much, yes, a confident energy. I'm seeing him mentally. You're strategic. You're thinking about things, but you're also tapping into your emotions tapping into your intuition as well so you're not just all in your head and that's where the strength comes out here you're not just all in your head if you have been worried or anxious in in any kind of way i'm seeing that that's that's moving away those worries are moving away because you're accessing that deeper intuition that is so powerful we have another sword energy here the ace of swords means that you're taking the power back it means that you're ready to strike you're ready to move forward and strike and, and to win this time. You know, you're ready to win over obstacles and challenges. I'm also seeing this as a divine idea coming in or a divine inspiration. First, the idea is going to come in towards you and then the action is going to take place. So follow this divine idea. You'll know what it is because it's going to be perhaps a little bit out of the box, a bit, bit, little bit to left field. There's a sense here of you knowing that there's pros and cons to this situation or decision or idea. And you're going to work through this in a way that's effective because you're tapping into your deep intuitive knowledge. You're letting go of these negative um, emotions or these um, situations that you're not holding on to these situations anymore. You're moving forward with protection from spirit and you have courage to do this. Let's take a look here at the world. What a beautiful energy coming in for you, changing your focus. Um, I feel that for some of you, you're changing your focus because you're wanting to complete something, finalize something here and change into a new energy, change into a new you. This is you tying off loose ends. This is you in a balanced state. This is you understanding the past, not dwelling on the past, not being emotionally drawn back there, but moving forward in a positive way for you and taking action in a a positive way. Um, I feel that a big decision may be coming this week or sometime soon or it may have already happened and that has been if it's already happened that's been the catalyst for this uh, going within perhaps some time alone and tying off uh, loose ends and uh, the finalization of a project or a relationship or maybe even something smaller in your life this week or you're, you're completing something and it has this wonderful holistic healing because healing's involved here. 
So healing emotionally, physically, mentally, or spiritually, it's going to be different for everybody. But if you refocus um, your energies uh, toward this um, wonderful uh, newness that's coming in toward you, things are going to follow on uh, very productively and in a very positive way for you. So wonderful energy coming through for you, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.